people and welcome back to my channel my name is Zita and if you're new to this channel you're welcome if this is your first time stopping on my channel guys I review uh, hair products and I also share with you my relaxed hair journey and some of the DIYs I relaxed hair so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how I take out this box braid see my initial plan was not to keep this box braid in for close to four months but I got so busy that the last thing I was thinking about was when to take out my braid. So all I did was just to wash it, deep condition it, and then moisturize and seal my hair still in my box braid. As you can see, I have a lot, a lot of new growth. So some of the products that I like to have with me while taking out my, my box braid or any protective style is my moisturizing conditioner. Because usually when your braid stays for so long, there is always the possibility of having a knot where the braid stands. If you understand what I'm trying to say. So I like to moisturize it using this ORS hair moisturizer. Or I can also use a detangling conditioner. And sometimes if I don't have a detangling conditioner at hand or this one at hand, which I really don't have, I will also be using my oil so this oil i'll be using today is uh, my my orange oil that i made you can check that in the description box and then this detangler is the asayam this detangler which is really amazing so i'm just going to go ahead and show you how i start to unravel my hair so also guys in the description box i'll be leaving a link on how i achieve this Senegalese or goddess twist by myself like it's just so easy one thing I like about this twist is that it's so easy to unravel like it's really just so easy and I forgot to mention that you also be needing a white tooth comb I mean you don't want to comb your hair with a small comb so I'm just going to continue unraveling the hair just be gentle while doing this guys you don't want to break your hair and you can also need a direct take comb so this is what i'm talking about usually at this spot you have a lot of build up so i'm going to use my fingers to just detangle that And as you can see, I don't really have a lot of shedding that that much. So I normally go in now with a tiny, tiny bit, just this much, if you can see, just this much. And then I'll make sure to rub it, especially at here so that I can detangle it very well. Then I'll put this at the side and I'll also do a little bit. I try to make sure that when I undo about five pieces of hair or finger detangle it, then I'll use my comb to just comb through. Because I added some extension at the bottom, it can be tricky sometimes. So I'll just go ahead and cut it with a scissors. If your hair is long, then please don't do that. But because I know my hair is not that long, I decided to cut it. And you can see, Senegalese twist is so easy to unravel. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you again one more time how I finger detangled my hair. And this is it again. You can see how much build up I have here. So I'll just use my hand to finger detangle it. Guys, like I have a lot, a lot of build up. I use a tiny bit again like the last time then I just rub it there so that it 
when I rub it here, at least it makes the detangling process a little bit easy or at least it softens up the build up. See, like this is the amount of hair I'm losing at the moment. Which, guys, to say that you're supposed to lose about 100 strands of hair per day. So I'm really expecting to lose a lot of hair for this hairstyle. So I'm just going to continue doing the same thing. Then I'll be right back to show you how it looks like. So guys, this is the next day and I couldn't come back immediately to film the last part of my hair. So this is the next day and I had to show you how my hair looks like. So far, I have just two braids left to show you. And of course, I'll just be repeating the same process. As I said before, I like to use the ORS hair moisturizer or the Asayam detangler or you can use any oil of your choice. In this particular video, I ended up using just my ORS hair moisturizer. If you don't have any of that home, feel free to try with an oil or any moisturizer of your choice. All I will say is just try as much as possible to be gentle with your hair. That is it guys and of course try to detangle in smaller sections and as we all know if you wear protective style you will know that keeping in your protective style for so long will mean that you have a lot of build up and if you are relaxed you know that you also have new growth and in case of new growth it means that you have natural hair at the bottom and you have your relaxed hair which is processed hair at the top at the top making the demarcation line to be very fragile so all you have to do is to treat those two textures of your hair with a lot a lot of care and taking out this braid took me a lot of time not the amount of time as putting in the braid but a lot of time to detangle my hair to unravel goddess twist or senegalese twist are really easy as compared to box braids but to detangle it means you have to be very very patient and i'll also mention that really detangle in section don't take out all your hair and just take your comb inside your hair that means you are calling for breakage try to detangle your hair in smaller section like i can't emphasize that enough really detangle your hair in smaller section so on this section i'm already done taking it out and i'll go ahead and apply my ors moisturizer as i earlier mentioned First of all, do my finger detangling very well. Then I'll go ahead now with my comb and just comb it through. And the last tip, guys, please, 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 each time you take out, take out any protective style, make sure you properly detangle and comb your hair before you shampoo your hair. Please don't make the mistake of just taking out your your protective style and going into the shower to shampoo your hair immediately guys you might end up cutting your hair because the tangle you end up with it will be unbearable make sure to always detangle your hair very well before you shampoo condition your hair and that is it guys this is my hair the afro is real um long overdue for a relaxer thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye